Okay, in the next video, I want to take a look at how do we go about creating a footer. And very, very easy. Again, we could use an image if we'd like to. We see we have our image box here, or we could also just do a color. I'm going to stick with the color. I'm going to click a rectangular frame. And what I want to do is I'm going to, I want it to run the length. So I know that when I hover that this is the beginning of my footer and that this is where the bottom of the page goes. Now I could totally make my footer go up to the bottom of the page, to the bottom page. I would just connect those two and we can look at it both ways. So I'm going to come on in. I'm going to draw my shape. And there we have it. Now, again, I want to make sure that <clears throat> it's going to go to the width of the page and I can come on in and add a color. So here goes. All right, now, um, again, that's not the color that I want. Um, let's go a little bit darker. Excellent. All right, so now let's say that I want to come on in and maybe even, you know, choose a different color. I'm going to come to the eyedropper again. I'm really using this image here as my color picker. It's giving me my color info that I want. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And you can see how easy it is to change things as well. And you know, don't even like that one that much. I'm gonna go for a little bit different. Now you can also click on the fill and again you could add an image in here um, or we could go about even making it into a gradient. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like with the gradient. So black is the default but I can click on the black and even change it up from there. All right and if I want to change that off again I can go to solid and it is really true too that um, it's a good idea sometimes to choose this before because you know as you're looking around sometimes it's hard to know because there's so many choices. So there we go. Uh, real quick too, if I wanted to add a, um, a a line, how would I go about doing that? Just like I have for the header, maybe I want to come on down and do the same at the bottom. So what I could do is come on in and um, add a stroke. Now, when I add the stroke, though, I want to make sure that um, it is only where I want it to be. So again, as I add the stroke, I can click in onto here. I'm going to put them to zero. I'm going to unlock them. And then it's the top one that I want to grow. So there we have it. Thanks so much.